All right, Mom and Dad, you want to buy healthy foods for the family, right? But the bill at the checkout line can be pricey. There's a new list out ranking the top 10 fruits with the most nutritional bang for your buck. Dr. Banjana Vide from the Mayo Clinic back here on the morning show with a look at uh, well, those 10 fruits and vegetables that will help you keep healthy. Welcome back. Good to have you here. Thank you for having me today. All right. I see we have blackberries here. Right. Great source right. of vitamins, but you know what? You go to the store, they're a little pricey. Right, exactly. But I think, honestly, they are worth it because blackberries have one of the highest levels of antioxidants of any food. And that beautiful purple color comes from a group of antioxidants called anthocyanins. And that's really what helps prevent heart disease, lowers your risk of cancer. Um, so I say when it comes to nutrients and antioxidants, purple is actually the new green when you think about fruits and vegetables. So I think it's well worth it. And of course, other uh, berries that we know, the brightly colored berries like strawberries, cranberries, blueberries, raspberries, all have high levels of antioxidants. And what you're saying is even though they might be a bit pricey, it's an investment in your well. health. Exactly. So it's probably exactly. worth it. Right. You've got red grapes here. Big difference between red and green grapes? There are actually. So so red grapes have resveratrol, which is the exact same antioxidant that's so heart healthy in red wine. So it provides the same benefits, and actually it's sort of packed in um, the peel, so don't peel your grapes. Mm -hmm. uh, then we go to the pomegranate. You know, it, it's not as, as, as pedestrian as, say, you know, apples and oranges, but it should be part of your daily intake. Sure, exactly. Pomegranates um, are one of the oldest cultivated fruits packed with nutrients. And our cameraman was speaking about how he needs to have high potassium mm -hmm. to normalize his blood pressure. And pomegranate has good potassium levels. It also has antioxidants that help present, prevent heart disease. So it's really a, what we call a superfruit for that right. reason. And it doesn't have the calories of, say, a banana, which right. is also exactly. high in potassium. Exactly. Perfect. All right. We live in Florida. Orange of is a course, staple of, of our diet. Of course, diets. I have to say that. And vitamin C, um, there's very high levels in oranges. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, helps boost the immune system. And the other thing that vitamin C does is it helps the absorption of iron in our stomach. So the iron that you're eating will be absorbed with the oranges. All right, before we run out of time here, because we've got about a minute left, let's talk a little bit about apples. You suggest what, like red delicious? Right, red. So any kind of apple is healthy, but especially sort of the more red, um, the, the better it is. And the nutrients are actually in the peel. So again, this is another fruit that you don't want to peel. Um, it contains pectin, which is a type of fiber that helps lower cholesterol and helps um, stabilize blood sugars. And there's evidence that it actually helps brain function and helps memory. Uh, let's take a look at the other five that are uh, on the list out sure. there. We've got figs, hot peppers, kiwi, avocado, and tomatoes. Right. So figs have lutein, which helps vision, um, lots of iron. Hot peppers or any kind of peppers have capsaicin, which helps decrease the inflammation from um, uh, osteoarthritis. And kiwi is nice mild flavor. You can actually mash it and Scientists have genetically engineered purple tomatoes to contain more of the nutrients usually found in other foods, like beetroots and certain types of berries. Scientists hope that the purple tomato will one day help cure diseases. Researchers at the government-funded John Inns Centre in Norfolk, England, are looking into how plants can be genetically modified to deliver positive health benefits to people. The reason for doing this research was that we wanted to develop two lines of food which either had or didn't have high levels of the anthocyanins to test uh, the influence of anthocyanins in a dietary context on uh, prevention of diseases. Tests were done on mice that are particularly susceptible to generic cancer and have fairly short lifespans as a result. Scientists fed the mice powder made from regular tomatoes and others from powdered purple tomatoes. Mice that are fed the supplement with the purple tomatoes live about 30% um, longer than the ones on the red tomatoes. So this shows that it offers, the purple tomatoes offer some protection against the uh, progression of uh, disease in this animal model. Encouraged by the positive results in the animal test groups, researchers now hope to see the effect on humans. But not everyone is impressed by the results.
Well, the Green Party is against GM foods in principle because we're concerned about the risks to the environment, to, to farmers uh, and to human health. But we think this latest development is simply unnecessary. There are lots of foods that contain antioxidants naturally, whether we're talking about beetroot, red grapes, uh, different types of berries. If people take these things as part of their diet, that will undoubtedly bring a positive health effect. We don't need the GM tomatoes to bring that about. The study has been conducted with scientific partners in Germany, Italy and the Netherlands and has been published in the journal Nature Biotechnology. Inside the university greenhouse, biology professor Zheng Hui Ho is using science to find ways to help improve human health and nutrition. And it all starts with tomatoes purple tomatoes. There's a national trend that the health promoting fruits and vegetables uh, we're supposed to eat the five portions a day and uh, the statistics shows that we only have about less than 23% uh, percent of the people doing that. So we we're trying to um, uh, research on fruits and vegetables where actually will have the rich uh, health promoting uh, compounds uh, such as the pigment. We're really uh, uh, like to study, which is uh, called anthocyanin. It's a purple pigment. This purple pigment has been proved to be a powerful antioxidant. In the store, you can actually see all kinds of purple uh, fruits and vegetables. For example, um, dark purple grapes and uh, blueberries. Berries in general are great, but uh, what happens is uh, it, it's kind of expensive to grow and sometimes transporting and all kinds of costs uh, will get into the way. So what we're testing is to uh, have a, uh, a very well um, defined tomato line that is not genetically modified in any way. It's a natural occurring purple fruit. Some of the rich ones actually, even the juice can be purple if you have enough um, sun. So you can see it. And it, it definitely can see the shiny purple color. Just like those found at the farmer's market, the tomatoes are heirloom varieties, varieties that are not commonly grown by large-scale agriculture. We want to find ways to see what is the best condition to produce as much anthocyanin and as much fruit as possible. The hope for this research is that it will show that it's possible to dramatically improve the nutritional value of everyday foods. And Professor Ho plans to share his results among the community.